welcome to Grace Today, a daily vlog designed to encourage you and equip you with the Word of God. Let's begin. Well, friends, one more day of thinking on this glorious truth found in Colossians 1, 19 and 20. Let me read that for you as we begin today. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in Him, and through Him to reconcile all things to Himself, having made peace through the blood of His cross. Through Him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven. As we have been meditating on this topic of reconciliation this week, and stay tuned, friends, we're going to rec- we're going to meditate on this topic more next week. Um, we are just overwhelmed, really, with this blessed truth that God has chosen for His good pleasure to reconcile all things to Himself, things in heaven and things on earth. I do not think we can think highly enough of this truth or think too much about this truth. It is a glorious thing to think that the Father, for His own good pleasure, for His own desires to accomplish His own will, sent His Son and sacrificed His Son in order to reconcile comprehensively all things to Himself. What a glorious, glorious truth. And this, friends, should lead us to worship and to think higher and bigger about our God, that this is His glorious plan from eternity past to accomplish redemption and reconciliation in sending and sacrificing His Son. So let me encourage you to spend some time today just meditating on this truth, thanking God for this truth, and then let me encourage you to read today, if you haven't been reading all week, but even if you have, read it again today, the passage that we're going to look at tomorrow in church, Colossians 1, verses 21 to 23. There, Paul makes the transition to talk about how this cosmic redemption, how this glorious, big, grand idea of redemption that he has been singing about in verses one or verses 15 through 20 applies directly to believers. So spend some time reading and meditating on that truth and then come to church tomorrow eager to be encouraged all the more to consider our great reconciliation in Christ. I love you, Grace Community, and I'm praying for you. Have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Grace Today. For more information on Grace Community Baptist Church of Elgin, Texas, and how you can support this ministry, check out the links in the description below. See you tomorrow.